I'm back again with another bullet journal video, this time showing you my April setup. But before I get started, I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I know you guys have heard me talk about them before, but that's because they're my favorite place to go to build a website, domain, or even an online shop. I've been using them for years for my online portfolio, and I've been recommending them to everyone ever since because I loved my experience so much. So more about them later, but if you want to try them out, follow my link down below for 10% off your first purchase. Okay, now let's get started with the video. So for this month, I decided to try something a bit different than I did for my March monthly spread, and I printed out some photos to use, and I actually really love doing this because it helped me kind of curate a theme before I got started, so I had a little bit of an idea of what it was going to look like. So I cut all those pictures out and I started playing around with how I wanted to lay them out and I decided to add one of my favorite quotes which says, go on adventures, fall asleep in the woods with friends, wander around the city at night, sit in a coffee shop on your own, write on bathroom stalls, leave notes in library books, dress up for yourself, give to others, smile a lot, live for yourself and be happy on your own. I just really love this quote and I thought it would be perfect to add to the spread. So this month is actually my birthday month. I'm turning 23 on April 17th. So I kind of wanted to choose a quote to add to, I don't know, be my quote for the year, just something inspiring to start off 23 and I thought this was perfect. So I just wrote that on a little scrap of paper and pasted that in. And then I also made a little tiny April calendar on a tag and I glued that in and of course added some of my favorite silver stars. On this next page, I decided to add a meditation tracker. I did that in my March spread and I really liked adding that, so I wanted to do that again. And then I used some of my moon face stickers to just write out all the moon phases for April, or at least the four major ones. And I had a hard time figuring out what else to add to this spread because I still had a lot of empty space, but eventually I just decided to leave that empty space so that I could write down important dates or events or projects or anything that I wanted to remember for April, I could write down in this list and I can just go back and look at it and add it to my weekly spreads whenever I set those up. And if you guys have any other ideas for things I could add to my monthly layouts, please let me know. I've been looking at Pinterest, and watching YouTube videos, and trying to get more ideas for things to add to these, but I just don't know what else I want to add. I'm thinking maybe more habit trackers or something like that, but I'm not sure. So if you have any ideas, let me know. That would be super helpful. So on this next page, I went ahead and did my layout for the first week of April, and I did this pretty much the same as I did for March, where I drew a small box for each day of the week, because this actually ended up working out really well for me in March, so I went ahead and did that again. Like I said in March, I like to set just three main goals for each day rather than write a long to-do list because that tends to overwhelm me and I don't get as much done. So that's why I don't leave a ton of space for each day of the week. And then down in the right corner, I added a space for video ideas or other project ideas because I'm always thinking of new things that I want to do or work on, but I never have a place to put them all. It's usually just scribbled on random pieces of paper on my desk and then it gets lost. So I thought it would be helpful to have a place to put it in my bullet journal and I could reference it anytime I need some more ideas. And then on the other side, I added a little space to put songs I've been listening to or favorite songs of the week. Like I said in March, I'm always listening to new music and finding new songs that I like, so I like to have a place where I can put them all and remember what I found. And then at the top, I added a space for goals for the week, and here I'll just write down the things that I want to accomplish or get done that week. And that's it for my April setup. It's pretty simple and minimal, but that's usually the style that I go for, so I like how this one turned out. And once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and allowing me to keep making content every week for you guys. So if you want to design a website of your own, Squarespace is the best place to go because of their amazing customizable designer templates. 
and I actually started using them several years ago during college for my art portfolio and I loved how easy it was to create a beautiful website without any web design skills. And on top of that, they have great 24-7 customer support if you ever need any help. So if you want to go try building your own website, follow my link down below and you can save 10% on your first purchase. I just know that you're going to love them as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As usual, I hope that you're having an amazing week and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.